What's up y'all, it's Emil and it's Junior back here with Clever News and another major brand is being called out for its toxic work environment. Rumors have been swirling around the past couple of weeks about TMZ's toxic culture and now it has come out that TMZ's newsroom is just as harsh as employees claim. In a new article by BuzzFeed News, the article highlights the abusive and toxic work culture created by the company that was founded in 2005. The article spoke with 23 ex-employees who all corroborated the same stories, including one who went as far as filing a lawsuit claiming discrimination and retaliation. TMZ responded to the lawsuit claim saying that it is a blatant attempt to use negative publicity and inaccurate claims to force a monetary settlement. A current employee for the company called TMZ an unchecked abuse of power, all beginning with the men in charge. The employee added that there are very few women in leadership roles and that they only hire people of color because they know that they need to as opposed to appreciating and valuing them. The same employee continued, if you're talking about the rights of black people, if you're talking about misogyny, if you're talking about equality amongst everyone, it's never reflected in the workplace. We're reporting on all of that stuff, but we're not doing it ourselves. Many of the former employees who spoke out asked to remain anonymous in order to avoid any retaliation with one expressing how they treat women in a demeaning manner transcends to how they represent women on their site. The two go hand in hand. Former employees also explained that creator and front runner of the publication and show Harvey Levin called employees the R word and morons on a consistent basis, including comments such as talking to you guys is like talking to a room full of special ed kids and my dog takes better direction than you. One former employee explained that they felt threatened by executives at TMZ and said they were called a <laughs> piece of <laughs> and <laughs> dummy. Veronica Barriga explained that she began working as a TMZ celebrity tour guide in 2018 and even appeared on TMZ on TV for two years. And when she asked about transitioning into a more full-time role in the TMZ newsroom, she was told she didn't have enough experience. She said, I was told I did not have the experience to be an associate producer. So I called them out and I said, you just hired a male associate producer who had significantly less experience than I do who's straight out of school. How do you explain that? And they chalked it up to nepotism. Back in 2014, a former employee named Ryan Nauman filed a complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission after Harvey outed him for being gay to his colleagues. Another explained that she filed a complaint with HR about gender discrimination from an executive producer, but was later told there was no merit to her claims. Warner Brothers and Harvey Levin did not immediately respond to multiple requests for comment, but a second current employee told BuzzFeed News, the word has never and would never be used within TMZ by anybody in authority, and that it's not true that our hiring or firing practices are based on race and gender. In the article, Harvey was also called out for getting two black women mixed up when they looked nothing like one another. The employee says that Harvey would get the two women confused, and when asked about his treatment towards the two women, Harvey did not have a comment. And while it may seem like the obvious next step is to kick Harvey to the curb, well, let's just say that there are lots of people turning a blind eye to the problem. One former employee pointed out the obvious saying, are you surprised that the person who has made a career off getting everyone's dirt, are you surprised when that guy is not being cast out? Another employee said that they even took a medical leave due to the stress of the job saying, I got screamed at so often I felt like a scared dog. Nothing was rational. The things that Levin would decide that he liked were based on his feelings that day. It wasn't based on a formulaic structure, so there's no way that you can anticipate what he was going to like and what he doesn't like. It was insane. Now, if this all sounds kind of familiar to you, that's because it kind of is. Recently, Ellen DeGeneres came under fire for the toxic work culture on her daytime talk show. Both The Ellen Show and TMZ have the same parent companies, Telepictures and Warner Brothers, and as a former Warner Brothers employee pointed out, there doesn't seem to be HR oversight over what happens. The article concluded with the former employee saying they feel sad that even during the Me Too era that this still became a growing issue. One former employee released a statement saying, even though other entertainment companies and other studios in Hollywood are held to a higher standard, it's almost like people think if you choose to work at TMZ, then you're choosing to be in a toxic environment. And upon this not so shocking news finally coming to surface, users online took to Twitter to share their thoughts with one writing, a company whose business is having people stalk celebrities at the airport and accost them while trying to get to their cars is toxic? What? Someone else added, just shocked TMZ is a toxic workplace. Shocked. And another person added, are we surprised? TMZ embodies the word toxic. Let's hope this reckoning means a safer work environment for our fellow news reporters and their coworkers at TMZ. But if you're loving Clever and wanna hang around for a bit, then click right over here for another Clever News video. And then let me know your thoughts on all of this down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil, and it's Junior, and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.